so today's topic for our lecture is related to drum brake different types of brakes are available and in between them drum brake is one of the type a drum brake is a brake in which the friction is caused by a set of shoes or pads that press against a rotating drum shape part called brake drum means here a shoe part is available and pads are available and when we apply the brakes the main reason for stopping the vehicle is due to the friction so that friction takes place uh, in that rotating drum shape part that is called uh, rotating uh, that is brake drum the term brake drum or drum brake usually means a brake in which shoes press on the inner surface of the drum when shoes press on the outside of the drum it is usually called clasped brake okay that is opposite direction if we consider that is uh, outside from the outside if we apply the shoe then the name is different that is called as clasped brake if we see the history of this br drum brake the modern automobile drum brake was invented in 1902 by louis renault though a less sophisticated drum brake had been used by maybach a year earlier in the first drum brakes the shoe were mechanically operated with levers and rods or cables from the mid 1930s the shoes were operated with oil pressure in a small wheel cylinder and a piston okay so <clears throat> actually from the 1930 hydraulic system is used and before that the different system is available that mechanically uh, it is operated that shoe is operated mechanically with levers or rods or cables this system is available before 1930s okay if we see the functions of uh, brake drum it is to stop the vehicle in shortest possible distance in case of emergency so uh, whenever we apply the brake then for stopping the vehicle it takes some time or it takes some distance after covering some distance it it, it is uh, stop okay so that distance may differ in different types but if we take the example of drum brake then that distance becomes smallest distance or shortest distance to control the vehicle when it is travel along the hills okay whenever we travel in hilly regions then it is difficult to control the vehicle or to it is difficult to apply the brakes okay or control that vehicle so in hilly regions this drum brake is uh, is gives satisfactory results so controlling is easier in case of this brake to keep the vehicle in desired position after bringing it in complete rest when there is no driver whenever the driver is not available and if we want to park that vehicle or keep that vehicle aside then uh it is easy in case of this drum brake if we observe the construction so these are the parts as shown in figure this is called as backing plate then this part is called as brake shoe wheel cylinder is available here hardware and springs are available inside this brake drum parking brake cable is also available here self adjuster is also available okay so these are the components <clears throat> which are related to drum brake the brake drum or drum brake consists of following components that is back plate brake drum wheel cylinder brake shoe brake lining 
then return spring brake line is available here return spring and piston these are the components now if i see the components one by one the back plate is important part the back plate serves as the base on which all the components are assembled so all the different components which we already discussed now which is rest on this back plate so all this component becomes wheel cylinder then uh, this is brake shoes self adjuster parking brake cable and hardware and spring all these components are mounted inside this back plate okay so according to that shape the back plate is modified the back plate serves as the base on which all the components are assembled it attaches to the axles and forms a solid surface for the wheel cylinder brake shoes and assorted hardware since all the braking operations exert pressure on the back plate it needs to be very strong and resistant to any wear and tear or corrosion so we observe the brake drum the brake drum is generally made up of special type of cast iron <clears throat> actually casting process is used for manufacturing of this component because this is a somewhat complex shape so uh, in our or different manufacturing method is uh, not easy for manufacturing this type of shape so as the shape is complex shape here we use the process that is casting process for manufacturing of this uh, part brake drum is generally made of special type of cast iron it is positioned very close to the brake shoe without actually touching it and rotates with the wheels and axles as the lining is pushed against the inner surface of the drum friction heat can reach as high as 600 degrees fahrenheit as the surface of the drum that is friction heat can reach as high as 600 degrees fahrenheit means uh, the friction is the main reason for stopping the vehicle and whenever friction takes place it it uh, release this energy okay energy of that component in toward uh, towards the heat heat energy and uh, after heating the component then temperature gets increases and uh, that temperature becomes 600 degree fahrenheit the brake drum must be accurately balanced then sufficiently rigid resistant against wear highly heat conductive and lightweight these are the brake drum requirement it should be accurately balanced sufficiently rigid resistance against wear highly heat conductive and lightweight if the weight is more then it is difficult to uh, apply the brakes okay if this component is not heat conductive then heat is generated inside the component and that component gets fail after some time or before the ending of the life period resistance against wear so wearing is uh, avoided in such components so anti resistant material should be there material is sufficiently rigid and accurately balanced next important component is wheel cylinder one wheel cylinder is used for each wheel two pistons operate the shoes one at each end of the wheel cylinder when hydraulic pressure from the master cylinder acts upon the piston cup the pistons are pushed towards the shoes forcing them against the drum when the brakes are not being applied the piston is returned to its original position by the force of the brake shoe return springs if we observe this diagram this is the brake shoe so brake shoes are made of two pieces of sheet metal welded together the frictional material is attached to the lining table either by adhesive bonding or riveting so this is about the brake shoe 
if you observe the working the drum brake stops the tire from rotating by using the hydraulic pressure transmitted from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinder to press the brake shoe against that brake drum which is rotating together with the tire so this is the master cylinder and the hydraulic pressure is transmitted from that master cylinder towards the wheel cylinder to press the brake shoes against that brake drum which is rotating together with the tire when the hydraulic pressure to the wheel cylinder disappears the force of the return spring pushes the shoe away from the inner surface of the drum and returns to its original <coughs> position if we observe the advantages advantages of this uh, drum brake these drum brakes are smaller for the same brake force drum brakes don't need a hydraulic system for activation and due to simple in construction it can be easily repair due to the fact that a drum brake's friction contact area is at the circumference of the brake a drum brake can provide more braking force than an equal diameter disc brake these are some advantages that is drum brakes are smaller for the same brake force <laughs> if we apply the fo brake force or if we generate the brake force then different uh, brakes are available but if we compare the sizes of the brake for applying the same type of force or same magnitude of force then this size is less in case of drum brake and uh, drum brake don't need a hydraulic system for activation it is not needed to start that system with a uh, hydraulic system only it is not uh, the case due to simple in construction it can be easily repair okay repair repairing is easy due to the fact that drum brake friction can contact area is at the circumference of the brake the brake drum can provide more braking force than an equal diameter disc brake if we see the disadvantage okay some disadvantages are also there the use of many clips and springs made makes overall of the brake drum assembly very time consuming okay so uh, it is time consuming process for assembly another problem with drum brakes is that if a vehicle is driven through water it takes longer to get the brakes working effectively okay it takes the time in in the water when the drums are heated by hard braking the diameter of the drum increases slightly due to thermal expansion this means the brake shoes have to move further and the brake pedal has to to be depressed further and if we see the applications of drum brake it is mainly used to stop the vehicle in shortest possible distance in trucks cars and in other automobiles so this is about the applications so whenever the distance required to stop that vehicle is uh, want to reduce then we prefer the uh, disc brake type of arrangement so this is about the disc brake so today we stop here thank you